because it kind of looks like I was getting up every morning going, I know my worth. I'm going to set my boundaries <laughs> today. Obviously, it was more chilled in the villa, but I think with Mitch, for me, I had to lie down the law. Right, I've seen all these memes saying like Hannah and Elizabeth is just in the villa for the holiday and all this. I was, because I was just having an absolute ball in the background. I'm trying to find a painting, but I could not because the shower is never hot. hot. Yeah, because our sh <laughs> But I was like Eminem in 8 Mile. Yeah. And they used to put the voice in and go, please stop singing, Islanders. We could not, though. Hi, I'm Hannah. Hi, I'm Liberty. And we're here chatting all things Love Island All Stars with Cosmo UK. Subscribe for more. Did your second Love Island experience compare to the first? Oh my god! Well, I feel like me and Hannah had quite serious relationships first time. Really? Like, you, I got, you got engaged. engaged in, had got engaged yeah. first time round, and I, I obviously had a boyfriend, and then I went through the whole oh, like, oh yeah, gee, it felt like yeah. a marriage and divorce in the yeah. villa. But this time we were pretty much single girls. Wow, well, we had situations. Single from yeah, like you I were mean, single. I was called up last time from the day dot yeah, yeah. right to the end. I thought the experience, I'm not gonna lie, was completely different because mine was nine years ago. Yeah. It's had a oh, glow up. No, can I say something really <laughs> funny actually? Go on. So obviously like the Love Island parties, we get like three oh songs. Oh my god, I don't know we what get, she's gonna we say. We get three songs and like two glasses of wine and that's it behind the scenes <laughs> in the Love Island parties. And we had that and I kind of knew it was like that from my series, but I had after she was like, Where's the party? I was wait, that still party? waiting for the party and to just start. Like, that can't be it. That was so funny. I was honestly howling. <laughs> like two songs and I was like, okay, when's this party start? And they were like, no, that's it. That's your party. I was gutted all the night. I know. I feel like the cast, like the Islanders, like we all clicked straight away though this time. Loved like, the we, Islanders. We all formed like a really close bond. We did, didn't um, we? And then we argued a lot as well. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Dysfunctional family. Um, and I always thought, no, like people, won't ever be like my you know series one yeah. people like that's what I thought going in there but then when I met all you lot we were just so close straight away me and Han was like sisters in there we, like, really we had was. each other's back we looked we after did, each yeah. other you always kept me straight give me I good did, advice did, about no. Mitch put Mitch in his face <laughs> I did I did I tried anyway were you surprised by the other islanders who had signed up to all stars I weren't you know because I feel, I feel like like a lot of people now that have been on the show are very much coupled up or mm, set. True, so I yeah. feel like all the islanders that did come back in, it kind of made sense because they were all like the single ones. Yeah. Same, like obviously before going in, you're like trying to work it out, aren't you? But I don't know, some people were a surprise, but yeah. then some people you you think I was a bit of an inkling, do you know? Yeah, what I mean? yeah. I was glad with the girl group that we got. I felt oh, like yeah. the girl group this year we very much like bonded straight away, and we all supported each other. Proper, like proper girls support, support girls. Yeah. And even though we were all chatting to like the same boys, we never like <laughs> let it come in between our <laughs> friendships. <laughs> the oh. boys weren't even worth it in the end. Yeah, like, they weren't worth the drama. <laughs> we did have the best group of girls, one hundred percent. Ah, oh, this is Han when she first ever entered the Love Island villa. I mean, to be honest, my hair looks better there because it has an all fell out. I actually had a bit of hair there. <laughs> but them eyebrows are a show. And they I think it looks stunning. Boobs, do you? Yeah. I think, I think the blow dry is popping. The, the I'm blow a big fan dry. of the blow dry. Oh my God, no. So obviously when I did Love Island, we had no clue. What like was what happen, was even yeah. coming in the show? Like we had no no like clue. We just got thrown into this villa and had a ball really. Like whereas on the other shows, Did you know. Did they go Magaluf on your season? Yeah, they went out to Magaluf and Crazy. everything. Crazy, that's wild. And yeah, I mean, I would never even think back then, nine years later, I'd be, you know, sitting here and I've just done it all again. It's mm. absolutely wild. <laughs> Who were you most apprehensive to see in the villa? Mm. Oh, this is like a good question. Yeah, I think people have like had maybe like more bad reputations from when they've been on the show before, but my mindset was kind of like, I don't want to judge anyone from what I've seen on the show or what I've seen in the press. Like, I kind of just want to go in with a fresh mindset and get to know people at face value in there. Obviously, mm. like, I was shocked to see Jake because that was my ex. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jake. I was shocked to see Jake, but I'm actually so glad he came back because. Like, I've seen them do like a full circle and like our journey together three years ago 
it's kind of had like the end of the story like this yeah true and that he's was so cute. lovely it was really, really nice to see him he yeah. is such a nice lad so for me i mean i'm the same really like i just loved everyone i haven't really met loads of them out or anything so i just got on with everyone straight yeah. away but i was apprehensive maybe about seeing my Ex fiance in the villa, but he didn't end up coming in anyway. I thought he was gonna come in. You so know. did I. I actually thought John was gonna come in at some point. But Just he for the never drama, did. I was a bit like, oh, if he comes in, bring it on, mm. bring in the Jonathan, and we'll have an argument. But yeah. never happened. So bring it's in the done. Jonathan. <laughs> Liberty, how do you feel about Mitch now? Um, I feel like we was both all over the place in there, like especially the second week. Like we, we, I, he's seen it as arguing. I seen it as me expressing my emotions and wanting to be heard so we could overcome it together and progress. But in there, it just didn't happen. And I just think, like now I'm out. I'm just focusing on me. I'm having a good time with the girls. I've got some exciting things coming up. Woo! And I just think, yeah, like. I ain't gonna chase him. If he if he knows my worth and he wants to chase me, then that's on him, but I'm not chasing him. But would you give him a chance now? He's have to prove prove it. Do you know what I mean? I feel like in there we was all over the place. <laughs> I think I need someone with not that Mitch hasn't I think I need someone with emotional maturity. Um that works for me. And say no more than that. <laughs> <laughs> As there was no challenges this time, what do you do in the villa all day? Talk about feelings. Talk, talk, yeah. just absolutely chat on, don't we? And have chat. Yeah. And just have a laugh then. No, we was honestly, we was laughing. Like most, you guys didn't and see And singing. It. Yeah. But we're oh not allowed God. to oh sing. Hand, hand, do you rap? Do you rap? Oh, I've do got, rap? I don't think I can sing. Oh, okay, basically, we come up with these raps <laughs> in the villa. Um, I used to freestyle, and it was I? like, here in the villa getting stressy with Messi and all like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, all the lads online. would be like hand Try freestyle and I used to just make raps and then, up. And then she went trying to finger, trying to find a painting, but I could not because the shower is never hot. <laughs> yeah, because I, I actually you remember smashed that? it. Yeah. And everyone would go, oh! Yeah. Han had the bars, man. Han had I the bars. I did have the bars. I was like Eminem in 8 Mile. Yeah, we were constantly just rapping. Constantly. <laughs> and they used to put the voice in and go, Please stop singing, Islanders. We could not, though. Music, we just all singing all the time. Liberty, you were very clear about your boundaries in the villa. What What would your advice for other women trying to do the same? Set the boundaries. Set the boundaries. Obviously, I haven't seen the edit, but I know from people's comments, it kind of looks like I was getting up every morning going, I know my worth. I'm going to set my <laughs> boundaries today. Obviously, it was more chilled in the villa, but I think with Mitch, for me, I had to lie down the law because I've been hurt in the past and I've always given more than I've got back. And I was mm. so scared of like doing that this time. So obviously like being in there and stuff, I, I think you have to like obviously respect yourself because yeah. it is that in there like, okay, everyone's getting to know their options and stuff, which is fine. That's the point of Love Island. Yeah. But it's that open line of communication. And I think it's that level of like self-respect and knowing what to stand for and what not to stand for. And for me, I just think, I, it weren't even like him getting to know other people. I think I just deserved more energy, didn't 100%. I? 100%. I deserved more like princess treatment. I think, and I wasn't getting it from him. So don't settle if That's they it. ain't worth it. Hannah, people loved that you were an unbothered queen in the villa. Did you feel a connection with anyone at all? Right, I've seen all these memes saying like Hannah Elizabeth is just in the villa for the holiday and all this. I was, because I was just having an absolute ball in the background. Like, I think the problem with me is, and I do it all the time on the outside, I am a friend's owner. So from day one, I just like chill with all the lads, they were all me bezies, and I just cannot flirt. Like, I'm the worst flirter ever. So I just think it straight away it was friend zoned, mm. and then I was just having an absolute howl and a ball, just living my best yeah. life in the villa. Do I you know what I mean? What, what I'd say about Han and me as well is we're very like what you see is what you get straight up. Oh, yeah. So it's like we don't have we don't drop game. It's just this is us. Take it or leave yeah, it. Yeah, you either love it or yeah. you hate it. So I feel like we get we gave a lot of sister energy, but we had we've made some like good boy mates. Oh in my there, god, and I I just had the funniest time. Yeah, we were constantly <laughs> laughing. Yeah. It's a show you guys don't get to see that more. On the I show. know. Because honestly, ninety percent of the day we was laughing our heads off. We was. 
Oh, look on my face. Oh, you look so fit in them glasses. <laughs> Little sexy secretary. <laughs> I don't even need glasses, by the way. I'm just obsessed with people who wear glasses. So I get like clear lens ones made. Um, yeah, I mean, I was, same thing. It was proper bittersweet for me. Obviously, I got to go home and be with me baby and me family, but I did have the best time in that villa. So I was a bit upset, but because I was having a ball, yeah. but. As we all be saying, the villa, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> What's the situation with you and Tyler now? Do you know what? Like, we give it a go in the villa, um, but we just didn't really have a romantic connection, so we left it as mates, and I'll be honest with you, he's probably chocked about having heard from him, but we're oh, sad. Are you like, him at all? No, because oh. I'm not bothered, though. Like, we're just mates, but... I don't know, I'll probably see him at some kind of Love Island shindig yeah. and yeah, we'll be absolutely sound, but there's just, <laughs> there's just nothing like sexy there, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, I do feel like we was we was really there for Mal and I think Mal had a hard time. She like, really it's, did. It's her ex for three and a half years at the end of the day and I mean, the girl got the next girl ready for the hideaway. Like, that's got to be one of the hardest what things the, you go through. What the hell? Like, she it's a was crying, relationship wasn't as well. she, as well, for, like, about four days straight. Like, yeah. she was really upset because mm. she did have the hardest time in there with that. Like, I couldn't even imagine, but she handled it so, like... Yeah, strong. Well, so strong, yeah. yeah. She's the queen. We she love her is. Mom. She's beautiful as well. Mm. Supermodel. <laughs> Who do you think are the most compatible couple in, in the villa right now? Ooh. I'd say, from the recent episode I've seen, I would say still Molly and Tom. Yeah, well it's all gone a bit tits up, hasn't it? But I mm. think Molly and Tom, Barbie and Ken, have you ever seen anything like yeah. them? Yeah, in real life stunning. especially, they are literally like Barbie and Ken. Who would you like to see win the show? Well, hands down for me. It's all the way, my husband, Anton, he's got to win the show. Like, even if he wins it on his own. <laughs> Anton, baby, you've got my vote the whole way. No question yeah. about it. What, what are, are you, you most, most excited for, for right now? A drink. <laughs> <laughs> I brought more no, than joking, one red wine. Yeah, no, I'm just excited to, like, hang with the girls outside oh my God, the villa. Same. Go on our girls' holidays. Because we had a good bond in there, and I feel like yeah. everyone was chatting about that in the villa. So... Girls' holidays. Mine's the exact same party and with mm. all my islanders catching up with yeah. them all. Like just having a ball now yeah. that like now that we're out with real music and no rules. No rules. That's gonna come. Yeah, wait. we was wild in there with rules. So with I can't rules. imagine what we're gonna be like on the outside. And we're no all gonna rules. go to Ibiza, aren't we? And everything. Yeah. It's it's a ranch. <laughs> and I'll be the trip with all the islanders. <laughs> can't wait. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.